Hey everybody, it's Eva with Budget Your Life and tonight is my first game night. I was doing in March and February just kind of at the end of the month doing some games and playing with some savings challenges, but this is going to be my first game night. So on Monday I did Monday full of minis. Um Tuesday I did Tiny Tuesday and I showed a few of my items and if you need a reminder, they're not in here, so I can't show you. I already put them away. Just kidding. Um, and then tonight is game night. So I am going to show a few of my new scratchers because I want to use them. <laughs> and then I'll do my games and all that. And then at the end, I have some happy mail that I want to show everybody. And I'm not going to play with that tonight because I want to, I don't want to start too many more um games until i finish some items so i have my original binder that i had some of my challenges in so i am gonna go through here and then i have this other binder that you if you can see it i don't know how you'd miss it it's ginormous you know when i buy things online <laughs> i either get things that are so tiny that i thought was bigger or i get something that i think is going to be smaller and it's huge so, um, yeah, so it says I'm busy and it looks like he's sitting in bed eating chips and cookies and soda and all that. So to me, this is me. I'm busy. I'm either watching YouTube or playing games. So that is tonight. So I'm just going to get my money out. Here. And it's just in the back. I have $142 for that that we counted out when we did my cash stuffing for the week with my ginormous paper clip. So I'll count that out in a second. And then um, when we get to showing, when we get to this binder, I have a couple things to add. And I just realized I did not get out. Well, that's okay. Okay, so I have so much stuff here. So let's get the giant thing out of the way for now. Move my dice tower. Double. We will count out what we have. So that's the one forty two. And then I do have a little bit more money that I will be using for challenges that I already pulled out from some of my money for the week. So in addition to the 142, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. And then two fives. So 159 total. And when I use this dice tower and I put my drink in it, I end up using it for like the rest of the day or night, depending on when I'm doing this. Okay, so I am going to start. Actually, I saw an IOU. So I guess I should start with that. Make sure I don't spend my money. So in the Boop the Snoop, Snoop, I keep saying that, not Snoop Dog, but Boop the Snoot, I'm going to put the IOU, the $1 in here. And while I'm here, I'm just going to see what I have to maybe break one of my 20s, or condense to get one of my 20s. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Five and one for a twenty, and then one, two, three, four, five. Four, five. So twenty five and boop the snoop. Okay, so I will come back to that. I do not need that right now. So I would like to do my roll and save, finish that one up, and do at least one of 
my me time, which it should say me time here, but I guess I never put the vinyl on my copy. <laughs> okay. And I can't believe how much light I have. Oh, doing this after work. Okay. So. Twelve dollars. Oh, and I keep forgetting to put a battery in my vacuum. We'll see how it does. So twelve dollars. I'll do a ten, eleven, and twelve. I kind of want to do one more, but I have a lot more that I want to do. Because they're between, I think it was like 1 and 20, so I could get a 20 and just be like, yikes. But I kind of want to do it because I'm here. Okay. Wish me luck. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I got a one. All right, I'm glad I did it then. So a $1 bill. Oops. I can do that. So in this challenge, we now have 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36 dollars. Okay, so we'll put that over there. And let's do some of my roll and saves. So I have a mystery save. You know what? I'm going to see. Okay, so I got this weird. It's not weird, but I got this cool looking die when I got my dice tower mug. So when it lands, whatever's at the point, they're all fours. Or they're all twos or they're all threes. So this is one through four so i think i'm going to use this one so the most i'll get is four and then that way i can try to finish this one out because i really i really want to try to finish some of these and these two are going to go to my 100 envelope challenge Normally, if they're not marked, I think I decided I want to put them into the randomizer, where at the end of the month, I just fill some of my uh, long-term expenses that I didn't, didn't or wasn't able to fill during the month. So, yay, game night. Okay, once again, I just jumped right in. Hope everyone's doing well. Thank you so much for the love on my Tiny Tuesday video. I feel the love. It was so fun to read your comments. And I'm glad you're liking the stickers. Oh, my God, I didn't see this is what happens all right okay i'll do this one and then i'll show you because i'll do that next actually because that's what i wanted to do next was some of my scratchers that i made for the launch and i i think i decided it's going to be the the 20th of april at 9 a.m pacific time so i guess that would be noon eastern time so i want to have a little bit of the product made and i'm waiting on some of my laminating sheets that was delayed so that's why part of the reason why it was pushed from this weekend i don't think i'll be able to do what i want to do and i still need to spend like dedicated time <laughs> working on my website okay if anyone's a wix professional just give me a call okay so let's see mystery save one to four Four. All right, where's my pen? Let's use a pretty color. Let's use 
Um, they're all pretty. Oh my goodness. Let's use this royal blue. Oh, this, what is this? I do this every time. All of a sudden there's like a pile. Oh, okay, that's this money. I'm like, oh my God, there's all of a sudden a pile of money and I don't understand where it came from. Okay, one, two, three, four, three. I hope you can see the dice. Probably not because it's like a point. One, two, three, four. Okay, I thought we'd get like a one or something or two. <laughs> okay, three. I need to do four and three. Okay, four and three. So let's. So four and four is eight, and three and three is six. So that's fourteen dollars. We should have one, two, three, four dollars. Put these back and put a 10 in. All right, three more and I'm gonna do it. Three. One, two, three. Three. I think three was our big winner on this board. One, two, three, and three again. Yes, I'm gonna say was. So one, two, and three. So let's see what we have here. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. All right, so I'm gonna put a ten back. Keep three dollars and put one of these twenties in. Alright, should I do that again with my all right, so 10, 20, 30, 35, 40. So we'll put two more fives and tens and get 40. Okay, so for this challenge, 20, 40, 65, 66, 7, 8, 9. 70, 71, 72, 73. $73. Should we add it up real fast? I'll fast forward. Then we finish this on April 10th, I think is the date. All right, so this $73 is going towards my 100 envelope challenge, and I could not be more excited. Giant paper clip it is. So I have that binder there. I'll put that there. All right, so let's see. I don't know if, if I'll be able to finish this because it's got some big numbers, but put the little triangle one back. All right, so let's do, and I'm going to start here for the first one, but then I know the last time I watched my video back and I was like, why did I do start where I started? So I'll start here, or I'll start here and see where I go and we'll figure it out. One. So my first open one is 10. Okay, I'm going to go one more time. And we'll start here. Two. So if I follow this around, so that's one, two. Oh my gosh, it's the nine. Okay, I'm stopping there. Let's put a one back and grab a ten. And then put two tens back for this twenty. So I have twenty, thirty-five, forty, forty-one. Oops. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, $55 out of the 80. 
So I will keep playing this. And when this 80 is done, it will go towards my 100 envelope challenge. Okay, so I will put that there right now. Okay, so I think you're going to like these. These are my new scratch offs that will be on the launch on April 20th. And I am so excited. So they are basically the same pictures that you saw in Tiny Tuesday and what will be also used for Mini Monday. So they're my travel picks plus a few others. So we have Australia with the frog, save $20. Crocodile, save 22. And this is, oh, I believe, Cape Tribulation, right outside the uh, Daintree National Park, which is a rainforest right here, where I sell said animals. So that's $20. So this is one of the lower ones. Um, I tried to do a mix of low, and you could always double it. And if you do buy these, they're, they're, um, pretty thick, pretty sturdy. I use the five mil laminate and you can scratch them off and then you can reuse them with, you know, a Sharpie and then take it off with alcohol. So you could keep reusing these however you wanted. So it's not like one and done because they're, they're in pretty good shape. So then we have Galapagos here with the iguana. I think I just was like, here's a lizard. I don't know. <laughs> It really looks prehistoric and like it's Godzilla. But so this one you saved 28. Here's the cute little fur seal. So these pictures you can see much better. You save $24 and the little crabby you save 35. Hopefully the glare isn't too bad. And then for my Antarctica lovers, I'll get to those in a second. Okay, so this is Antarctica. So with the cute little penguin, I zoomed in a little bit more. And you're probably, I don't know if you saw the other video with the Tiny Tuesday. There was a gentleman's leg that I left in the picture. And you're probably like, why did you leave that in the picture? I wanted to kind of show that these little guys just walk right by you. They don't care. They don't care that there's a human. They don't know what a human is. They just walk right by. And we're told they have like their little pads, their little penguin pads. And they just say, you can walk on them if you know there's a lot of snow that you can say you can walk on them but if there's a penguin coming they have the right away so you just step off the little penguin path and you just let them go which is the cutest thing ever so that's the little penguin one and i zoomed in a little bit so you could get a better look at the penguin and not see some random guy's leg though you do see a random stick so you're welcome so here's another one of the penguins and so this one you save 25 and he does have his other little Fin, it's just down by his side. So he's okay. So save 25. And then the stunning picture that I don't mind saying that I took is save 30. And then the shark ones are here. So you have a little bit better look of the shark. And I wish, I mean, when you're underwater and you're, we were in a cage, by the way, a shark cage. Um, and you're trying to take a picture of an animal. And like, I was so bummed that I, the, I think I took this one, but I love the water lines because he's pretty close to the surface, maybe within eight feet of the surface. So it's just really pretty. Oh, that was save 25. This one is save 30. You can see some of the little fish. And it's so funny. He, they don't even care about these little fish. They just swim all around them and they don't do anything. And then this one, you can see just a little bit that his tail is skimming the top of the water. So save 28, save 25, and save 30. I know these might not sell, and I'm okay with that, but they mean a lot to me, and and I, you know, I'm going to probably use these tonight. And then the other two that I have, so those were the travel scratch-offs, and then um, this one's just called Pool Party. I did not take these pictures. So you save 35. I figure summer's coming, and I would like a pool party. I think it was Margie, the budget evolution evolution has like the margarita fund. <laughs> so I was thinking of that when I, when I made these. So 
this one saved 30 and then saved 25. So a little pool themed pool party. And then this one I just named Sky's the Limit. And uh, it's basically sunrise, save 25. Midday, you save 35. And then sunset, save 30. So a lot of it's by water because I just love water. And I live in a desert, so anywhere I can look at water, I will. So thank you for indulging me in that um, scratch off, showing off my new uh, items that I'll have. Hopefully I can make a bunch this weekend if the product comes. And I'll figure out pricing and all that and try to give you a sneak peek. Um, so you have an idea of how I'm going to bundle it. There will, there will be bundles, especially for these. I'll probably do them individually. And then all three at a little bit of a discount, kind of like what I did with my other mini Mondays. So I'm going to do the save 25. And then I will put them here. So let's do... I don't really know where I'm going to put this. Somewhere in here. Oh, and this one that I made that with like a bajillion scratch offs is getting a revamp. So it won't be as much and I'm switching up how I'm doing it. So that will be reintroduced. Oh, and fun. Well, it's fun to me because I love buying grab bags or mystery bags. And I'm going to do that because I am clearing out. I'm going to clear out all the things I've had for the last year when I was trying to come up with different ideas and different products and making stuff and designing, like all the stuff. I'm going to have a bunch of mystery bags. They're really going to be mystery boxes because they won't fit in a bag. So, <laughs> so I'm more to come on that. I'm really excited about that because I'm just going to dirt cheap, just dump a bunch of stuff in there and just give it to a good home and hopefully you like it. And if you don't, maybe you can pass it on to it. get somebody else involved in budgeting that you can have a, a friend, a budget friend. Okay, so I'll put this guy here. All right, so should I roll? Let's see. Four, so one, two, three, four. So I'll do this one up here. Four dollars. Okay, I will probably come back to that because I want to see if I can get some other things done. Two, three, four. But I wanted to start, so yay! Four. That's fine. Okay, so we'll start from the beginning here with Boop the Snoot. And let's see. Four again. So one, two, three, four. We've got six. So five and a six. I'm going to stop there again because I want to see what I can get through. All right. So... I know this is my challenge and it's kind of a lot of money because I made these before I really started playing them, which I don't know what I was thinking. So basically this saves $200. So this is kind of a high number. So I'm basically going to start at the start line and just follow the little arrows. And just scratch off. And if it's 19, I would probably just do $10, put, do one and a nine. So I'm going to try to make this a little bit more affordable and start this one. So even if you get, I mean, all right, I will do five. And then goes here. And one. So even if you get challenges and you find that you're in a little bit of a pickle and can't do as much as you want or as much as you thought, still have fun, still scratch things off. 
like, there's no way I'm going to be able to do 18 right now. And I don't know what I was thinking when I made this. So I will do nine. So that's $15 for the first three if I make that a nine and do this six. So that's $15. I'm going to say great and do that. And I'm just, they all, all the money goes into this one little pile. And I'm going to do one of these guys and I'm just going to start here at the beginning and just follow along and I'll do the same sort of thing. So the first one is 10, so you bet I'm just going to do a dollar. And then the next one is five. And then the next one is 20. Oops, so that's two, so that's $8. I'm good with stopping there. But I got to play the game, and it's your money, it's your games. You get to literally decide however you want to do things. So let's see what I have in here. I'm going to put $2 back and grab a 10. So in my two Road to Savings challenges, I have... 10, 25, 30, 31, 32, 42. <laughs> I made that a fun way to count. So $42 in there. And then this one, same thing. I love where my head was at. Um, yeah, so I have a few of these made, so they may be in the mystery bags. But again, it's a lot. Like, what on earth was I thinking? Like... If this was the only challenge you were doing, maybe, but I love the two spring. So I am redoing these into a roll and save with the same patterns. I might do different ones for the this one, especially after I found like that. Like, whoa, that's stunning. Okay, so so I might do a little bit different. And some of these like save a hundred dollars. There's a lot of them, so they might be kind of low. But again, let's see how I feel when I'm doing them. So I'm just going to finish off the top row. So five and I'm going to say five again. So four and one is five instead of doing 14. So that's $10. So I don't know how fast I'll be able to get through this because I was hoping to do spring and then do summer over summer and then the two cute fall ones with I don't know what on earth I was thinking with that. At least it's $85. The amounts are one to five. So that's, you could do a few of those. And then the Christmas ones. I love, I don't love candy canes. Like I don't really eat them, but I love decorating with the red and white and the candy canes. They're just so cute. And then this is a little marshmallow snowman in hot chocolate so one to ten amounts so at least it tells you what you're working with like this is one to 14 amounts so so i owe this ten dollars and this one now has Ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six dollars. Ooh, the bingo! All right, so I have not done fantastic with the bingo, and I also think I don't really understand. Roll both dice and save the correlating number if you will. Okay. I'm going to pause for a cleaning moment. Okay, cleaning moment done. So we have blue and five. Ten dollars.
And we are definitely stopping there because I forgot. I already forgot about my other binder that I literally just made. Okay, so that's ten dollars. So in bingo, we have 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. Wow. Nice. That's a good, it's a good little chunk. All right, so, oh, but I got to do a penguin. Oh, and the taco. Okay, so I, I do want to come back to that penguin. All right, this binder is so obnoxious. In the best possible way. That really sums up when I need my, like, quiet time. <laughs> there, but there needs to be, like, a dog or two laying around me. And then that would pretty much be spot on. Okay, so this is such a big binder. I don't know how long it's going to last, but that cracks me up. Okay, so if anyone is doing the Sunday playing with friends with um, Save with Judy, this is a printable she has. Um, you can go print it out. She's only done the one first Sunday in April. So there's four Sundays in April, four in May, and then five Sundays in June. So each time she says, okay, we're coloring in the hat, rolls and figures out how much it's going to be. And so it was $14. Oh, and I have to do this too. So I am going to do my 10, 11, 12, 13, $14 in my Sunday playing with friends. And I'm just putting it in this one of these protectors. So that is that. So then the next one I want to do, which I also forgot to grab. So this is the budget evolution. Um, Margie. So I bought this off of her Etsy shop. So I, she had a little dashboard. So I put that there and then I'll just put the money in here. So it's kind of like Plinko. So you roll a die and then let's say I roll a five, I would put my little placeholder there. So I, I um, laminated it. So the first two that are in this book I, are just going to be perpetual. So I'll just play one or two games and then you roll again and you might get it one and then you roll again and you might get a four and then you might get a six and you work your way down until you hit here. And then I would put in three dollars, two, four, five, three, one or six. So I, oh, I also have to take two dollars out because when I ordered from Ren, I got this. Oh, I was going to clean it up. So another completed challenge. Oh, my gosh. I owe this. I owe this for this one. And then this one. Yay. Okay, so this was 100 envelope. And then I think this one's just going to go into my randomizer, which that's what I did not get an envelope for. So I'm going to set that here. Okay. I feel like I'm rushing, but I also am having so much fun. Okay, so... Just gonna use this use this die since it's already here, even though we don't need the color. Okay, so one. So we're gonna start there. Five is here. Two. Four. Oops. And then four again. And then one, four. So I am saving four dollars. One, two, three, four. I'm going to do that one more time because I really liked it. <laughs> so we're starting off at six. Oops. Two. Four. Three, two, 
and two again, and four. Magic number is four. So that would be eight dollars. So I'm going to put one away and grab the five. So we have eight dollars in my first game of Simca. I think I'm going to pass on that. GP's odds and ends. Um, I saw her. This was one of her freebies. And I was like, oh, I got to play that. I'm like old school Pluto as a planet. You can't talk me out of it. It's just, it is what it is. That's what I learned. Pluto's a planet. So I'm going to roll the dice. And basically, I have an eight sided dice. Do they? I think they make eight sided dice. Oh my God, is that this? What's well, nine? Oh, Pluto's nine. Okay, I'm getting excited. So I don't know. We'll see if this works. But whatever it lands on, just going to put a little check mark and put that amount in the envelope. Five. Five is Jupiter. And this might also be perpetual. Just because I don't, I mean, like, I don't really need to mark it off and just. So, okay. And then these I ordered on Etsy. Isabel Gigi. Not sure how to say that. Anything Nutcracker related, I'm in. So I'm going to be done with this binder and I'm going to go back to the Penguin Scratch Offs. So that was fun. Okay, so that was in. I don't know if I'll be able to do a shut the box, but definitely going to scratch a little penguin. So what do we have left to work with? A lot of ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Okay. I'm sure that'll go fast, but let's see what we can do. I might as well start with that. So five, so one, two, three, four, five. $10, okay. <laughs> God, they're so cute. So this is Debt Free by 43 shop on Etsy and Debt Free by 43 here on YouTube. And then Shut Your Taco Box is Blessed Daisy Budget. I got this off of her Etsy. And she has such wonderful challenges that some of the challenges go towards wonderful causes. And, and then there's me who buys the taco. <laughs> I will go back and buy others because I do want to support that. But first things first, I'm going to do one row and do it the low, the low way. So, so this is with two dice, right? Roll two dice, add up the total. You can cross them. So seven. So I'll just cross off the seven. Six. Six, eight. Five, six, seven. I'll do the five. Oh, I should have done the four and the three. Oh well, five and the two. Four, five, six, seven. So there's the four and the three. All right, I need 10. Oops. I don't know where the other one went. 
Okay, technically it's on 10 right now. You're not going to believe me though, so I don't know how to show you. It's back here, but it's totally on a 10. So I'm going to say I should just shut the box. I hope you believe me. I'm a very honest person. But that was awesome. I've never done that before. Yay! Okay, so now I, I'm going to do it again. That was cool. I'm going to try to do it where I actually make it in the spot. So 10. So I don't really want to get rid of the 9. But I mean the 1. I do want to get rid of the 9. So 6, 7. Six, seven. Uh, I'll do the four and the three this time. Oof. Okay, so that's twelve. So I'm out. So that's one, two, three, four. So I owe four. One, two, three, four. Such a cute game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven dollars. That's one through nine. I did not say what mine is, but I feel like you think I'd know, but I don't. I feel like the highest number is six. Meeny, meeny, my. No, I'm just kidding. I'll just do this one. Two. Okay. Okay. So one, two, oh, are you kidding me? Isn't that what I have? I love this game night. I like it when things work out. Shut the box. Am I right? One, two, three, four, five. Yes. I just wanted you to see his little fin. Yay! So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, and then four in here. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, yay! So that was game night. Okay, so I, if you're still here, I do have a little bit of happy mail, and I would love to show off some things that I bought. And one thing that a lovely person sent me. But I sort of asked for it, but I thought I was going to pay for it. So I'll start with her first. So, okay. So it's Becca Budgets. I'll link her down below. She was doing her budget, and I loved her placeholders. So I said, oh, my God. So I was like, oh, my God, where did you get your placeholders? They're so cute. And she's like, oh, I made them. I'll send you some. So she did. And I thought that was the sweetest thing in the whole world. So thank you so much, Becca. I have them. I got them today. I 100% got in my car and drove over there and picked it up. So, and then she put in this heartbeat challenge. So I think that's awesome. Super cute. Save 375. And then look at how fun this little honeycomb challenge is. You can put the honeycombs to be whatever you want and fill them in and put them in the little envelope. So that was so sweet. So thank you so much, Becca. Please go support her. She is so nice and new to the budgeting community. So let's show her some love. And then, and then I got my um, Liz and Les sticker. 
stickers, challenges, which I already read this. Honestly, I opened everything up. I can't, I can't open on camera because I am like a toddler at Christmas. There is no way I have, have the patience of a, of nothing. So I, the brunch, the bookworm, because I love to read, love popcorn and movies. So very excited about this. And then look at how cute the, the cookie party. I love Chris, making Christmas cookies. So I'm very excited to do this one. Um, and I like that she has like top numbers, 50, 50 bottom numbers, 175. So probably start with the lower numbers. So I'm very excited about those. And then, yay, I got my items from Ren and uh, Mischief Managed Budgets and Mischief Budgets on YouTube. So I got the Wizards and Broomsticks game. I cannot remember who was playing it, but I immediately stopped watching the video. Sorry to whoever it was. I did continue watching it later, but I went straight to it and bought this. I am the biggest Harry Potter fan. Love Harry Potter. So yeah, so I didn't even open it because I was like, I am going to want to play this for all of my $142. So I didn't even open it. This will be featured in next week's um, game night. So I'm very much looking forward to that. And then I love anything, like I said, nutcrackers, as you heard me. So she had a couple items that were going away. And so I put put an order in immediately. So I got the Nutcracker Christmas. So I got this one and then the Nutcracker Christmas with the little cards. Oops, my little Liz and Last sticker. So I'm super excited to use these. I love Christmas. I love Harry Potter. Okay. And then the last little bit I'll show is some of my items that I bought on Etsy like two weeks ago. So DIY budget, she's Diva's budgeting here on YouTube. Her name's Eva, like me. So I watch her channel all the time. <laughs> and she's over 200 subscribers now. I think she, last I saw it was like 225-ish. So she's just very sweet. And so these were her, some of her printables on her Etsy shop. And I thought having a new year one would be fun. And then Every year I talk about I want to do a barbecue on 4th of July, and we've never done it. So we might not do it this year because I believe my husband might be working, but if he is not, I might use this to save up for it. And if not, I might use this up, you know, slowly over the next year and next, you know, next year we'll have a big blowout. And then more things to color because I'm finding out I love coloring and saving money. So perfect. I will link those below. So I probably made this really long. So thank you so much for being here and not wait to show you a couple more of the items I'm working on and, you know, get some of the final details up on my website. So if you see my website might be down over the weekend, it's probably because I'm taking some products down. And um, so if there's something you're eyeing and you can't buy it yet, just email me and I can put it aside or we can we'll figure something out. So just let me know if there's something you're eyeing, but you haven't had a chance to buy it yet. That way I want to make sure you have the chance to buy what you want. And then um, otherwise, I'm probably going to do, um, like I said, a big uh, mystery box type thing with a hodgepodge of items. And it's could be a little bit of office supplies. It could be um, binder charms, dice savings challenges. I mean, it really could be a hodgepodge of anything and it's all fun stuff. I hope you like it all. So, wow, I just keep talking. So thank you so much for being here. I appreciate your support and until next time, take care. Bye.